What's going on? This is Lauren with Team Up Apparel, and today's video is going to be about direct-to-film printing transfers because I've seen this pop up several times on Facebook and discussion groups, etc., and even on some videos about the feel of a DTF transfer. Now, before I answer this question, I want you to go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out some links below. As always, sponsored by TMF Apparel USA. I got to get that uh, which direction right. But let's go into this because I saw somebody post it yesterday in one of our Facebook groups about the difference in quality of a transfer between a commercial grade printer and just an at-home converted, say, Epson L1800 or 3880 or vice versa. If there is a difference in quality and feel of the transfer. Now, I will start off by saying this. All of these printers are just that. They are just printers, right? They're taking ink. They're printing it onto pet film. They're applying glue to the back of it. They're curing it then pressing it back onto the garment or the surface that it's being uh, applied to, right? So the overall process is the same regardless of which printer is used. Now, will there be a difference in print quality on the actual image required to be printed? Sure. There's all kinds of things that are going to affect that quality. The color saturation, the amount of nozzles that you have, the DPI resolution of the image, the DPI resolution of the printer, whether you're printing single pass, two pass, all of these things do make a difference as to the quality of the actual print itself, right? Like if I was going to print something like this, you know, whoop, <laughs> it's kind of green, right? The green screen got me. Um, what it would look like versus uh, on the printer and vice versa. Now, the actual feel of that print, that's really not going to change. And I'll tell you why it's not going to change, because of physics. The physics behind a DTF transfer are the same regardless of which printer printed the actual image, right? The ink doesn't matter on the field because the thickness of the ink can only be so thick before it's going to run, regardless of what you're printing it on, right? So if you want something with super white, thick white, it's really not the thickness of the white, it's more the opacity of it. And that could be a difference in brand of ink, whether you've shaken your whites, uh, et cetera. That could factor into that. It's not going to change the feel of it, it might change the appearance of it. The feel of it is created by nothing other than the glue that's put on the back of your image, right? So you put all the powder on there. They go, oh, we got a powder. That is glue. Cure the powder, and it creates one big surface, right? And all the ink now has glue attached to it. So if you've got a full solid, say 11 by 13 inch image, that's solid glue, you have a solid sheet of glue. And when you cure it, is it uh, stretchy? Yes, because the actual adhesive powder is stretchy. Um, is it breathable? Not so much. There's not really any holes in that sucker. So the feel of it is still going to feel kind of vinyl-y, and you're not feeling vinyl of the ink, you're feeling the vinyl feel of the actual powder that is cured in the glue, right? That's what allows us to press DTF transfers onto several different substrates, the fact that that stuff is indeed a glue. So when you're saying is there a difference in quality and feel, quality over the overall image, certainly you can see very differences between an L1800 printer and some $10,000, $12,000 industrial machine with two, three, four print heads in it that could lay down maybe a finer image. You know, I print all of my DTF transfers at 2880 by 2880. It takes a lot longer to print than some of the other ones, but the actual image quality is superior to anything less DPI. So keep that in mind. The feel of it has nothing to do with the ink, has nothing to do with the printer, has everything to do with the size of the image and the amount of actual adhesive stuck on there because it's one big sheet. So I hope this answers some of your questions. Is DTF a great source of uh, garment decorating? Absolutely. It does a phenomenal job of giving you nice quality prints that feel great, that last a long time, that are nice and stretchy, that don't fade and wear off with the shirt. I use them almost every single day. I do recommend it. I do not, however, recommend you buy a DTF printer unless you are versed in the tech world. You got to know how to fix them. You got to know how to service them. You got to know how to maintain them. You got to know how to use the software, et cetera, et cetera. So with that being said, if you found any of this information uh, useful, by all means, click the like button. If you need DTF transfers in your life, you want to try some out, obviously, you can shoot me a message. Choose an email at tmfapparelusa at gmail.com. I'd be happy to send you over some transfers, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.